case. So, uh, exam four, topic number one, ATCAs. And after watching uh, these video clips, you should know about the chemistry catalyzed by ATPC, ATCAs. Um, it's a biological advantage. And um, uh, you'll have an understanding about its structure, especially how that structure relates to uh, allosteric uh, with an R to T uh, e equilibrium, very similar to what we saw with uh, hemoglobin, but now applied to an enzyme in the context of regulating that enzyme's activity. Further, uh, it will help you if you understand the meaning of certain molecules in relationship to ATCAs. Meaning of molecules. And uh, we can begin with ATP. This uh, tells the cell if the ATP levels are high that there's a lot of energy and uh, resources are abundant. And uh, that uh, would inform the cell that this is a good time to, uh, to make more cells. Good time to divide. And of course, when you're making new cells, you need to make DNA. And another meaning of ATP is it is uh, one of the, the purines. And if you're gonna be making DNA, it's helpful if the purine levels match the pyrimidine levels. Okay, so CTP, that is, uh, in the context of ATCase, that's uh, a pyrimidine. And it's also the product of, of the whole pathway. And when levels of CTP are high, that informs the enzyme that we have enough. So one of the meanings is that we've made enough of the uh, the building blocks for for DNA in terms of pyrimidines levels. And finally, uh, we have aspartate. This is a, a substrate for the enzyme. It's uh, right at the beginning of the pathway. So it's a substrate of ATCase and also uh, uh, it's the start of the pathway. And similar to AT, P, it informs the cell about resources and uh, uh, the, the, the decision of whether to make new cells is, is again positively influenced by high levels of the, the substrate aspartate.